on topic, but when I was talking to somebody this morning who was in that from a way of thinking, mm -hmm. he said to me, if God is a separate entity that is infinite, then where do the rest of us all fit? And I didn't know how to answer that. Yeah. The truth is that there are many questions like that that no person who is just developing intellectually will ever be able to be have an answer that will satisfy them. All right? So I can, you can give them an answer, but really the answer is I know at a soul level God is infinite and yet I know that I can connect to God and I know I'm a separate entity. Now, how that works, I don't know. And in the end, if you're in experiential mode, do you really need to know? So, so why does a person need to know that? There's only one emotion driving the need to know, and that is the fear. The need to know here is driven by the fear. And so he's afraid. He's afraid of letting go of a belief and actually taking on a new belief and the new belief not satisfying him. He would rather hold on to the old belief and keep that because it feels more satisfying to his intellect. So, you know, my answer to those kind of questions are, until you open your soul, you will not be able to understand any of those kind of answers to these questions that you're asking intellectually. And by the way, that applies to all the six fear spirits who are listening here too. Until they actually open their soul and actually experience it personally, they will not know the answer. And, that, and that's the beauty of the divine love path. And that's why I said in the first century, if you seek first the kingdom, or what I actually said was, if you seek first God's love, all these other things will be added to you. So you see, it's only, and when I said all these other things, I didn't mean like physical things. or I mean everything. I meant all the knowledge of the universe is added to you as you receive divine love. Because there is so much knowledge in the universe that doesn't, that transcends the sixth sphere. That is much, much greater than the sixth sphere. Right? And, and if you are constrained by your intellect trying to understand, you will never, ever understand that knowledge. It's only when the soul perceptions, what, are, what I've called traditionally the soul perceptions, open up, and the soul perceptions includes your desires, your passions, your emotions, your intentions, and all those things in free will. Once those soul perceptions open up by the divine love entering you, then you're able to understand and begin to conceive what God is. Only then. <laughs>